Hello everyone, in today's video I will show you how to create this interaction system So instead of using a box collision, you can add this uh, interaction system So if you go to it, press an E, it will disappear So let me explain it to you a little bit quick As you can see here, we made a function called interact Then we made a blueprint interface And then on your blueprint, you can just add the interact event we made right here and you can go to class settings and add the uh, interface, implement interface. So instead of using all of your uh, box collisions and stuff like that, so this is a much simpler way of doing it. And this will work in all of your blueprints. So yeah, let's uh, start. So what we're going to do first is to go into the first person folder, blueprints, BP first person character. Then we need to find the empty spot, so right here. Now go into the edit. Project settings and scroll down until you see input. Now we can add a action mapping called interact. Just like that. So why we are doing a action mapping is because we can choose uh, both keyboard events and controller events. So if you want to add a controller to your game, you can just put it in right here. But in this tutorial, I will just use the keyboard event. So I'm going to choose the E key to interact with, but you can choose with whatever key you want. So E right here. But if you want to add another button to click, you can click this uh, plus right here and choose another button like uh, the uh, left trigger or something like that. But I'm not going to do that in this tutorial, so I'm going to delete this. Now close out, go into the BP first person character. And we want to call our event we just made. So, interact. Out of pressed, we want to get the line trace by channel. And then we want to drag out our first person camera. And then we want to get world location. Just like that. And then the return value will go to the start. So the line trace we know where the camera is in the game. Then we want to get world rotation, so get world rotation. And from the return value, we want to get forward vector, so it will shoot a line trace uh, right in front of the camera. Now, out of the return value, we want to get a multiply, and then we can right click on the B and convert pin to a float single position and the value will be set to 200 so this is how long the line trails will uh, shoot out and 200 is good for me then we want to get the add and the get world location will go into the b value of the add then the add will go into the end of the line trace now we want to get a branch so drag out of here and get a branch and the condition will be the return value of the line trace then out of our hit we want to break hit result and the hit result will be hit actor so if we hit a blueprint actor uh, it will interact so now you can compile and save then we need to make the interaction interface for the uh, interaction so right click Go to blueprints and add a blueprint interface and call it interaction interface just like that then go into it and we want to rename the function to interact then we can compile and save and close out <laughs> now go to the event graph again and we want to drag out of hit actor and get the interact message right here. Now the true of the branch will go into interact. And just like that, the code is done. Now we can just highlight everything, click on the C and call it interact system. So now we can compile and save and close out. So now we will actually add the interact to the blueprints we want to interact with. So 
go into your blueprint and then go to class settings and implement interfaces we will click on this add and add the blueprint interface we just made so interaction this one right here we compile and save so now instead of using a key to press or a box collision we can just remove all that and right click and search for event interact just like this and this event is the one we just made in the event graph right here so this this whole code is here in here so now i can just plug that into there and we can test it out so compile and save and i just made a quick blueprint to test it out so when i press play and walk to it and press the e key it will disappear just like that so now we have a fully functional uh, interact interaction system in our game so yeah that's the tutorial and if you liked it please leave a like i just want to say thank you for all the support we've grown so much since our last video and i just want to thank you all for that so thank you very much if you want a tutorial on how to make a interaction dot so when you look at a object a interaction crosshair will pop up on your screen if you want that tutorial just uh, leave a comment and uh, yeah i will see you in the next one so yeah bye